Hello everyone, this is Suzanne at God Crochet and Chatter. Welcome back. How is everyone doing today? It's another beautiful day. We're going to go for a walk in a little while. I thought I would come on and get our devotional done for today. Today we're going to talk about waiting for the Lord. I would have lost heart unless I had believed I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wow. Wow. Wait on the Lord, I say. Be of good courage, and he will strengthen your heart. Uh, we need to take that scripture to heart. It's very encouraging. I know every day I see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living, and that encourages me to go on each day. It uplifts me. So I have a little talk with God here. <clears throat> Dear God, Sometimes it's so hard to go on like this. This waiting has stretched to the maximum that I cannot hold on any longer. I'm weary, tired. Please fill my cup again with your strength and joy. Life has been tedious and burned out. Being patient has taken its toll on me and I'm struggling, yet I am working on it. Waiting for you to unfold that beautiful plan in my life and not to walk in my plans. Please prepare me to stand and face obstacles in your name. Bless me to be patient and to move on with you by my side. Let me keep going and not be tired. Help me, Lord. I know you are hearing me out. I pour my heart out to you. I believe you have it all in control. I know you got my back. Allow me to cast all my burdens upon you and wait expectantly. Bless me to do this waiting prayerfully and joyfully. Let me lean unto your everlasting arms and heed into your promises. Lead me in your righteous path. Lord, thank you, Lord, for your love. Let your kingdom come down in me of righteousness, peace, and joy. Thank you, my dear Lord, for your amazing love in my life. Let me continue to walk in your light and fill me with your wisdom to make the right decisions. When I am empty and lonely, you came down and rescued my soul. Thank you, Lord, for removing all kinds of negatives and depressions out of my life. You have been good, good father to me. Allow me to wait in peace and joy as this stormy phase of my life pass on. Let your kingdom reign and let your will be done in my life. I leave it all in your hands and wait in peace. Thank you, Lord. I love you so much. In Jesus' name, I pray. I leave all in your hands and wait in peace. Isn't that a great attitude to have? That even though sometimes it's hard to go on, we have the peace, the joy, the contentment, and we can wait in peace upon the Lord. Yeah, it's going to be just fine. All right, everyone. I hope you've enjoyed today's lesson on waiting on the Lord. Be strong and let your heart take courage for the Lord. All right, everyone. That's the devotional for today. And I also have a trivia question. Yes, I'm bringing back the trivia question. Are you ready for today's trivia question? Here we go. Which Old Testament book mentions the constellation Orion? O-R-I-O-N. Which Old Testament book mentions the constellation Orion? All right. Might have to do some digging on that one. All right. Well, today's been a good day. I have been busy crocheting my cow toppers. I got two more done this morning. Last night, I worked on some butterflies. In the evening, I'm working on butterflies. And during the daytime, I'm trying to work on my cows. Getting excited because the Junk in the Trunk um, craft fair is coming up. Everybody brings just junk from their house, whatever they want to sell. We get a whole parking space. So I can't wait for that. It's in... Um, Coming up in June, I believe, like June 18th or something. I'll let you know that date. Um, I want to let you know, I did a yarn swap with someone 
horses and horseshoes and um, she had posted on her YouTube channel anybody want to do a swap and I said I do I never done one before I mailed out her package yesterday and she is going to put mine in the mail Monday and uh, we're so excited. We were gonna, we chose June 8th to do the swap, but we both got excited and we're mailing each other those things out early. So when I get that, I will have a unpackaging of what she sent me. What a fun thing to do. And if any of you are interested in doing a yarn swap with me, please let me know in the comment box below and we'll see what we can do. All right, everyone, you have a most blessed day in the Lord. I'm going to get ready to go for that nice walk and get some, grab some of the sunshine today. All right, Lord willing, I will be back tomorrow on God Crochet and Chatter with another great devotional. Take care. Bye-bye.